Hey guys, welcome to PCN's channel. In this video tutorial, we're going to be covering how to get Castlevania Symphony of the Night randomizer uh, ROMs on to your 3DS and how to play it. Now for this, you do need a new 3DS. Uh, this will not work on the original 3DS uh, as, as it just doesn't have the horsepower. And to be honest, the new 3DS hardly has the horsepower, but the, the community have been behind and they've been optimizing the PlayStation 1 core in RetroArch. Uh, very very well there are some options to tweak in the core i'll leave a link to those in the description so do do check the description of this video there'll be some important files in here now before we start you're going to need um a playstation one rom or rip or the the bin and the q files or in particular the the bin files for uh symphony of the night so uh and also i i presume when i'm doing this guide that you've already got a hacked 3ds running hopefully the latest version of luma and you've got retroarch installed if you haven't i'll leave links in the description of where you can get this information this isn't a guide of how to hack or how to install retroarch there's plenty of guides that can help you with that i will leave uh useful links in the description but if you haven't got to those steps already then just check out some other tutorials and they'll be helpful in providing that for you so let's say the prerequisite you've got your ds hacked you've got retroarch on there and you know you've got uh, castlevania symphony of night rom and you're ready to go Okay, guys, once you've got all your prerequisites, you want to head over to SOTN.io, which is the website for the Symphony of the Night randomizer. So you want to go hit the choose file, find the location of your Symphony of the Night game. So your only the bin files will show. So what you want to do is you want to pick pick uh, track one. I, I always do. I don't know if track two makes a difference or anything. So you've got different options down here. You've got different presets. So if we go on safe requires no speed run or glitch knowledge for completion, which is which is a nice way to play the game with with random items. Uh, you've obviously got adventure, casual, uh, OG, speed run, Batmaster, glitch, scavenger, empty hand, gem farmer. So you've got different things and all of them have an explanation here. Uh, I recommend that you, you check those out for yourself and see which one suits you best. Things like glitches, they're for the, they're for the the real experts that actually you know know how to manipulate the game so over here down here append seed uh to file name so you can you can have um the, the once you uh, once you run the randomizer the file is given a seed name which go which goes up here and you can have that in the file name and that, that's a good way to identify and keep track of your games you can also just change them you know to to, uh, to something else that reminds you but it's always worth having the seed name in there if not you can see it on like the the loading screen of the game anyway uh, to, uh we're not going to do tournament mode but have a look at the description of things for yourself so we're going to we're going to show spoilers we're going to show uh relic locations and we're going to show solutions so and then all you want to do is you want to hit the randomize button right guys so once it's done you'll see next to randomized copy seed also you'll get a notification saying that you know a, a, a download um has completed so uh it's, it's downloaded now so we've got the randomized rom now so um let's go and have a look at that so here we go so we've got it in in our downloads and what do we have here okay so we've got we've got the the seed number there so if if you know want if you want to replicate this or if you want your friend to have this rom just give them that number they can then put it in here and they can get exactly the same rom that you get so if you do want to a race for example if you're a speed runner and you want to race on the same rom with with the same drops and the same starting things and then, then go with this okay so once you have your randomized rom before you put it on the 3ds you want to convert it to a dot chd from a dot q4 slash dot bin so uh initially the original symphony of the night worked uh, as a dot q dot bin file but from what i read online dot chd is is the best version to have it so what you want to do go ahead i'll leave a link to this in the description this i12 um baretro github.io anyway it'll be in there so you want to you want to go over here and you want to navigate to this so convert.q bin to chd click the download link it'll take you to a google drive page just click the download as always scan anything you get from the internet i always scan everything with windows defender just to make sure whatever i'm downloading is clean uh, this is clean i've got it so let's go over to our downloads folder now all right, guys, so here we are over at a download, fo download folder. So we've got a Castlevania Symphony of Night bin fold. That is the, the randomized version of it. So what we want to do, first of all, I've got a vanilla copy of the, uh, the ROM here. So I've just got, I've named it vanilla just to be on the safe side. So what we want to do is we want to copy track two and we want to copy the Q file. 
so just go ahead copy those and bring them out here and just paste them in here along with your randomized um wrong with your randomized rom don't copy track one because it will overwrite it and it will undo what you've done should you replace it so let's go ahead and just uh extract this so let's just extract this over here right here we go so we've got that over here so what we need to do is we need to put we are converting from q to chd so we want to grab that and we want to grab the dot exe let's just copy those into the root okay cool so now what we want to do is we want to run this bat file the q2 chd we need to make sure the chd man dot exe is in there as well so we want make sure these two files are in here you've got your randomized download of the symphony of night rom and then you've got the track two and the and the dot q file uh in the same folder so now what we want to do is we want to run this bat here you go so now what this will do is this will convert it to a chd which is the best way uh, for you to put this ROM on your your new 3ds uh, for for best best compatibility, so uh, this this takes a few minutes, uh, not not that long, maybe like two minutes. So um, we'll uh, we'll be back shortly. Right, okay. Once that process has completed, you'll notice a new file here, the .chd. So now you don't require any of the other any of the other. Uh, so the original Castlevania we had was three files, which was these three. Right, so now all we need to do is just move this one across. So let's move this across to our our memory card that's going to go in the 3DS. I've already got it on the 3DS, but so just pick a location so you know exactly where the ROM is. Might want to put it within the downloads folder in RetroArch, so you can choose to put it wherever you want. Uh, I usually have them set up as ROMs and and I have them subcategorized in there. So I might have it as ROMs, then I'll have like 3DS CV. Uh, you know, Castlevania Symphony of the Night randomizer. So now that we've got this, we're kind of good to go uh, over to our 3DS, which has got RetroArch on there and which we have um, customized and we've, we've selected the right options. Again, I'll leave a link to where you can get those options. So once you've got RetroArch installed, you know, you've got your you've got your custom firmware, you've got RetroArch on there. Um, I'll leave a link. Uh, to a reddit post that gives you all the options that you need to toggle just go through that guide i did and it worked really really well so credit to the person there i'll make sure i leave you uh, in the description of this video just follow those instructions and bang you'll be you'll be good to go and uh, we'll, we'll check this rom out okay guys so now we've uh, we've put the the randomized rom as a chd over onto our uh over onto our 3ds what we want to do is load up retro arch make sure obviously you've got the the latest playstation the, the playstation core uh installed i think there's only one i can't remember the exact name now but it, it, it will come up shortly so we'll see that so what we want to do is we want to head over to the location of where we kept it in my case i've kept it in downloads and in sony playstation so as you can see there i've got that's just my my normal symphony of the night and then i've got randomizers in there i've got a few in there this is the one that we we done earlier so let's let's load this up we want to pick sony here we go pc sx rearmed okay just make sure we're picking that core we've got a chd file in there remember i'll leave um, i'll leave a link to a reddit post with all the settings that i'm using that makes it run full speed without those you won't get full speed on there if you just whack it on there and hope for the best it's not going to give you full speed you want to apply those fixes on there um yeah so just give it a second, it, it will boot up. Let me put the volume up so you can hear the sound and, and hear that the sound is full speed. Okay, let's centralize this a little bit more. Okay, that's a little bit better. It's really weird. It's like, I play this and I kind of get used to Nintendo buttons with B and A the, the other way around. Uh, but obviously it's not, it's emulating a PlayStation. So. Here we go, we can hear the sound, it's the normal sound. So if we look at the top there, you can see uh, where it's got the randomized ROM number seed there. So if we just go to, let's just start a new game up here. Okay, so we are now running a a, um, a hacked ROM, a randomized ROM of Castlevania Symphony of Night. There's not really much you can see in the prologue. It all starts after uh, 
after you uh, get past the polos and, and you become Alucard, you start with different equipment. And when the equipment um, disappears and death takes it from you, you end up getting uh, like completely random equipment. What I'll do is I'm going to load my save, which just kind of shows one of the early drops that I've got. Okay, so this is this is my save file of the same randomized run. So let's uh, let's start this. There you go, look at the badass weapon I've got. So uh, this literally just, just mows through uh, mows through everything. Uh, the other weapon I've got is I've got this blade here, which gives me 8 health every time I, I strike something with it. So, you know, you're not always lucky with, with the random stuff you get. Sometimes you can get bad ones. This obviously is a very good one. Uh, and that literally, that, 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 that blade there just goes through bosses. And, and it's, it's a lot of fun because the locations are mixed around. You know, you can make it as easy or as hard as you like. My one, I've just made it. I've gone with a simple mode. And, and, uh, and I've just been pushing with the power-ups. And I am going to play it through. Uh, maybe not on, on the actual... Um, 3DS, I might be doing it on the win map, so at least that way I can stream it when I'm playing it. But yeah, this was really it for Castlevania. Like, uh, if you do uh, enjoy the content, then consider subscribing, drop me a like if you like. And uh, yeah, so this is how to get Castlevania randomized ROMs onto your uh, 3DS. Uh, all, uh, all links, everything will be in the description. So, guys, um, yeah, until the next video, PCN out.